Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Chris Omi, and this is Don't Die Minerva, um, procedural generated roguelite, slightly Halloween spooky haunted house etc. So help Minerva survive her adventure in the haunted house for the sinister ghost. This rogue Sorry, spooky roguelike features heaps of procedural dungeons, ghosts, and loot. Um, yeah. Um, this is very cartoony, and I don't think it should be too scary, which means it's probably okay for certain age ranges. Um, however, I am playing this right after my review of, um, <laughs> Of Star Drop, which got a little creepy, honestly. Um, and my body just overreacted, so I'm not feeling well. Um, and like I, I have a tendency then for my body to kind of kick in a bit too much adrenaline. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of already on the edge going into this game. So, who knows what this is going to trigger in me. But it's by Xavier Games Action Adventure in the RPG. It's in early access, but it is coming out very soon. This next week should see the release. I think it's scheduled for the 5th of December, I believe. Um, so it's on Steam right now. You can go get it there or go to Zervient.com, I believe, and to see all kind of different things they've got going on. That's X-A-V-I-A-N-T. Google that or Google the title itself, Don't Die Minerva. And we shall be good to go there. So, a little bit about the game. On a dark and stormy night, 11-year-old Minerva discovers a haunted house deep in the woods. And before she knows it, she is in for the fight of her life. Roguelite action RPG in a haunted house. Flashlight and backpack full of friendly stuffed animals brought to life by the house's magic. Minerva must explore the mansion and defeat its ghostly inhabitants. Along the way, she'll meet helpful characters who aid in her quest. Death is nearly inevitable. Each run, you'll gain vas valuable essence to unlock new abilities and better loot. So I'm guessing that carries over run to run. Um, so you might lose everything else, but you'll gain essence, which will allow you to get different stuff, to get past new puzzles, or make certain bits easier, so that you get back to where you last died the quickest way possible. Um, multiple levels of difficulty, uh, easy stroll in a moonlit park, the punishing challenge only be faced for the bravest of souls, crisp controls, exhilarated action, spectacular visuals, deep stat driven loot system. It's all generated randomly, dungeons loot and enemies, so no two runs will be the same. Now this is in early access, it is closed beta test. This is a review copy from Xavier themselves. I don't think you can get this until it releases on the 5th. So, a little sneaky peeky look at this one. As always, we'll run about 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, and I will give my open and honest impressions on everything to do with the game at that stage. First impressions. I haven't seen anybody play this or any info about it. I've seen a couple of screenshots. I've read the Steam page. And looked at screenshots there, I thought it looked cool. And so when the opportunity came up to get a code, I jumped on it and I'm bringing it to you now. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's W, A, S, D, F kind of keys being used. F to start up with. No W and S to go up and down. The up and down keys don't do anything. The number pad keys don't do anything. Uh, I'm not sure if that means that this is anything to do with like a console port or not. I don't know. So I'm guessing. Yeah. Enter still works. That's good. Okay. Basic. Uh, Basic credits. Normally I'm used to a bit more scrolling and stuff. I kind of like this version. So there's Xaviant there. That's how you spell it. Uh, so Michael McMain, Josh Van Vell, Tim Lindsay, Britt LaRoe, 
Tim Hendrickson, uh, Vaibav Balero, not sure if I got that one right, Kevin Murphy, Michael Wilburn, Luke Crowley, Aaron Molina, and Quinn Lindsay, voice acting Minerva herself. Okay, so audio. Take the sound effects down. Yeah, see, apply one to. It kind of feels a little bit more like a, a console port when they do that. Um, but plenty of settings there. I quite like that. Controls. So, controller vibration, yeah. So, designed with a controller in mind, as far as I'm aware. They do have this mouse here. So, excellent. So, we can rebind them. That's good. Um, it doesn't look like you can go up and down with the skull to two stuff, so you've got to use the mouse here. Feels a little bit disjointed when the rest of it has been WS um, to go up and down things. I've got to be honest with you. So, yeah. So I had to blow my nose there quickly. Um, okay, so. Looks fairly simple. Inventory map. Pause game being a queue. Okay. I'm guessing that's just a very quick pause with the WASD. Likely to be movement. Interact with the F. And power slot 1 and 2. I'm not sure exactly what that means. But okay. That's fine. Tab as well. Escape the inventory. Use a flashlight. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, show damage numbers, yes. It does feel a little bit weird to nest that underneath its own thing. So. Okay, um, yeah, but I wish, I get that we've got to play on normal before we can play on anything else. Uh, I don't like when games do that, but I understand the reasons behind it, um, but I don't like it. Also, it, it doesn't tell you anything about it, like, you know, that, that at least tells you it's, it's kind of default. And that this tells you it's going to be much, e well, much easier in combat. But you're not going to get your next grid. These, I don't even know how bad they are. So, I mean, I guess we'll try on, on normal to begin with and... Steven again, see so it comes up with that issue there. Shallow growth, oh. I thought this was voice acting. Maybe only in certain parts. Where is this place? Mom, Dad, where are you guys? My head hurts. I think I'm lost. Okay, so that blue bar there. Is a flashlight. I kind of like that. Goes up quite quick. So those are crystals. That'll be inventory. That'll be our health. Keys. And then certain things down here. I'm not sure exactly what they will be. Also, I, I can hold down the mouse button to move. You know what? I don't mind that. Doesn't look like I can do anything there. Hmm. 
Yeah, like that's not ominous at all, is it? That that's really not ominous at all. <laughs> Okay. Big kind of empty area. So yeah, I, I kind of get the feel for this already. Yeah, no, like... Oh, crap. Okay. So maybe th anything ghost like will be done with that. Creepy rocking chair. Okay, I kind of dig in this right now. Oh, so I walked through that. And that gave me some footprints to follow. Okay, this is really bad, isn't it? Okay, no time. Elevator. Flashlight to harvest the crystals. Okay, so I've got to get some crystals, find this fountain, and then come back, and there we go, don't die in the middle of that. I mean, sure. So he doesn't seem to be having an issue with anything. Okay. Level one. The mansion. Level one monkey. Okay. Plus my DPS. Gain some energy. <laughs> So I shake my monkey? At a ghost, maybe? No? I've perished, yes, I have. I have no idea what was going on there. They just kind of throw you in. They don't explain anything. <laughs> like, they give me that monkey, and they're like, Hey, look, there's a monkey. It does damage. It does this. I walked up. I pressed, like, one a lot. It did absolutely nothing. Um, so I've got no idea, like, how that works. Upgrade. Always be dashing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, like, I mean, I could look at that all day, but it's not going to help me out. I'm not the best of these kind of games either. I've got to say that. Okay. Level one monkey. So, we gained some damage and DPS and everything. Deployment cooldown. Energy reserve. So. Okay. 
Yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure kind of... in it to pick it up but it just wasn't doing anything. Okay, now I can pick it up apparently. Now I can pick it up. Okay. I'm still a bit like... Okay, so that sets it down and allows it to do something. And then we've got like a cool down before we can use it again, I guess. And I guess we've got a very... Aha! So that's what it means by power. Yeah, I, I gotta stop like... Riffing into things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on now, I pressed one. <laughs> Is that not going to explode? Okay. Interesting. So I guess there's lots of ways to do this. There we go. We got a crystal. We got a crystal. And we're going to go through this door. Oh, sugar. I mean, I'm so close to dying, it's unbelievable right now. Oh, sugar. Oh my god, I, I, I got caught on the wall. I got caught on the wall. <laughs> No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Dang it. Ooh, this is a bit more kind of a bullet storm than I thought. And I'm using the flash way too much and everything. I mean, okay, 
Um, interesting. Interesting. Secret doors. Interesting. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I thought there was quite a... You know, I thought it was a decent amount, but jeepers. Um, yeah, okay. I like how the keys over override the mouse button. I'm holding down left click, like, where the mouse is. And I do like that it automatically strafes when you do that sort of thing. Okay. So yeah. Now we got like one thing, didn't we? We got one thing and that was it. Equips the monkey. At least we know how the monkey works. Whoa. I mean, that much. That was better, but also I feel like I'm really just not good at these kind of games. So it's. Like all these kind of bullet storm kind of games. Got two crystals. I got two crystals. We kind of need some health. That is badass right there. Was not ready for that oh my god i found the elevator key lovely i'm i'm, I'm sure that made a big difference there then um <laughs> yeah no we didn't get the elevator key we didn't get the elevator key okay got to mend a lot um see more items level two cat the level one monkey, level one bear. Yeah, and these destructibles might help. Okay. Like I say, kind of interesting so far about what we can do and the way we can do it. Um, honestly, though, I think that's about enough to, to like get my opinion on the game. So... Yeah, I think it's the type of game that I'd have to play for a while. Like, Binding of Isaac was a game 
that I thoroughly enjoyed that I was no good at for a long time. It took ages for me to be able to figure out some of the enemies, the patterns, and how I needed to play. Um, I'm a bit gung-ho right now. I'm still learning certain things. For some reason, I didn't expect enemies to explode, and they happened twice, back-to-back. -back. That's on me. That, that should have been like something I had uh, really taken care of. Um, I knew that was going to happen that second time. But yeah, I feel like we've, um, I don't know, we did okay. We did okay, we're learning. Um, but gameplay, yeah, like with a lot of these kind of games, it's all about strafing, avoiding damage, conserving your resources until you can, you know, use them again. Placing down your consumables and your animals, your, you know, friends as you go, the tur turret, towers, whatever they are. Um, yeah, gameplay, solid. Graphics, top-notch. I don't think they could have done it any better for me for this style of game, um, for the theme. I really dig all that. I really, really do. Um, like, those explosion animations may be a little bit a little bit funky, and I'd love this skull to explode as well. But yeah, I think it does a really, really good job of setting the atmosphere for the game. Um, and I kind of dig that. I really, really do kind of dig that. I wonder if there's any secrets about... I'm sure there will be some secrets. Some we can't unlock now either. Um, but yeah, as I say, it doesn't unlock till December 5th. But sound, look, feel, controls, everything is just absolutely fantastic. So uh, if you're into these kind of games, you want to give this one a go. It's got a very good feel, good look, good sound. Um, controls are pretty decent as well. Um, but yeah, Don't Die Minerva is available on December 5th from Xaviant Games. And I'm just going to put it out there. This is one of the best of its kind I've seen in a long, long time. Um, and I'm sure once I play it in depth, which I'm probably going to do, this is going to be, this is going to become my go-to game that I play when I'm bored that I want to sort of, you know, spend five, ten minutes, not a long time, play a couple of rounds of a game and done. When I'm waiting for something to happen, I can just dive into this. And I love those kind of games. I really do. But good ones, I found, can be difficult to find. Now you're looking at half an hour to an hour's sort of gameplay for a lot of those games. Um, but no, this, I think, will fill that void very, very nicely for me, so, so don't dive in Minerva, uh, December 5th, as I say, a fun little game, I encourage you to go and um, check it out when it releases and see if it's for you, but uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and being here as always, I do appreciate it, my name as always is Chris Ormy, and I'll see you guys soon, very soon. For more reviews, more gameplay, more footage, and yeah, till then, y'all take care.